I'm going to show you how to tell the story of your components and your stories will be gorgeous. This is your first five minutes with Storybook. This is first five unboxing videos for open source. Let's say you're a front end developer using the latest and greatest. You're writing components kicking butt. How does it look? Over to Chrome to collect the universe. Every bloody time. That's a lot to keep straight and it's not in isolation. Enter Storybook from Chromatic. You write a component. Right beside it, you write a story file with all the variations. Review the component stories as you code. Then publish this gorgeous component catalog for your colleagues and bask in the glory. Today, I'll get you started with Storybook. Let's start unboxing. Can't unbox it if you can't find it. I'll just search for component stories. Even in a private window, it's the first hit. Way to SEO, Storybook. Or I could look it up on GitHub its description is more about the what than the why. Further down, we get a link to the website and the storybook tagline here just nails it. Very well done entry page. I'm a sucker for leading with the why. Make it easy for me to care, people. Well, now that you found it, let's open it up and install storybook. I'm going to add storybook to my React project I'm in the docs, which funny enough, default to React projects. Click on install. Here we go. For existing projects, we run npm's npx command pointed at sb from storybook. Back in our IDE, we run that command. It detects that we're in a React project and now we download the internet. Storybook is a Node.js app with a React front end. It's not small. We're back. What's changed? Git says Storybook added a bunch of sample stories. Thanks, Storybook. It also changed my package.json. As expected, we got some new dev dependencies. But Storybook did something cool. It wrote scripts for the dev server and publisher. That's going the extra kilometer. Yes, we can immediately try Storybook thanks to the samples and scripts. We run the dev server. And wait again, it takes a while to start, especially the first time. Dev server is running, we click on the link, browser opens, et voila, stories. Ooh, that storybook UI. And now the big idea, each variation of my component gets a story with docs and more. Primary, secondary, large, it's all just right there, easy to discover without reloading. Then when I want to share with colleagues, customers, the open source world, I can publish it all to a static directory for a website. We're installed. We saw that gorgeous UI. Let's take a look at writing a story. I have a small heading component. It takes a prop, which has a default value. I want stories for both usages, passed in and default. I like to do these side by side. First, I'll make a new file for these stories. I made myself a live template in WebStorm for the boilerplate of the first story. It prompts me for the component name. The default export gives the data for the storybook UI. And there's our new story with the story data and the rendering of the first story. This component takes an argument, and let's add a story to show that. I also have a personal live template for adding a new story, this time with an org to pass as a component prop. Storybook is now showing this second heading story, rendering this variation of the component. That's the basics of adding a story. I want to take it a step further and see something cool. How about integrating stories into testing? As I change things, I don't want to have to click the universe in Storybook to see if my change broke something. Let's hook Storybook up to Jest to write automated tests of all of our stories. I'll generate a test for the component's first story. It renders with the story's args, then checks the results. 
I then run this test and see my story is in good shape. Repeat for the next variation. All my stories are good. If I need to poke around, I can set a breakpoint, run my test stories under the debugger, it stops on the line, and I can just look around. And now our final segment on First Five, scorecard time. Is Storybook safe to look at? Let's take a look at some criteria, kind of in speed round mode, starting with onboarding. Here we go, the website is phenomenal. The project is on GitHub with a decent description. A comprehensive readme that actually tells you what problem it solves. An open source license. Very easy to install, the docs are very obvious on this even has a scaffold that generates sample stories and edits your package.json to add scripts to run. Next, Vitality, AKA, is anybody home? Lots of commits, last one quite recent. Lots of releases, last one quite recent. There's a bug list, open versus closed. Decent change log, both on the releases and in a dedicated file. Tests, meh, decent coverage, but thanks for the badges. There's a company, Chromatic. Crunchbase says it has four investors, one seed round. A steering committee with half the people outside the company and lots of contributors. An active Twitter account. Lots of Stack Overflow activity and you'd expect that it's a mature project. Summary, Storybook is as mature, vital, and stable as any open source package you could imagine. Do you think in terms of components, your components tell a story. If that fits your brain, then Storybook is a good fit for you. It's legit, it's mature, it does something valuable out of the box. It seems kind of fun. That's it for this first five on Storybook. Give Storybook a try, give some comments down below, give some comments on some open source front end packages that you'd like to see unboxing for. Thanks for watching, see you next time.